Okay, here we're going to do the word mage. These connect quite simply, like so, M, A, G, E. Now, two things about the G. First of all, the G is just a curl. Any curl in any direction is a G. Those are all Gs. So there's no reason we couldn't just curl right out of the A curve, like so, and save ourselves another stroke. Second thing about the G is when you do a G, you always end up with a curl, and there's a space inside of here. Now, the normal word should c c continue out of here. You can't continue it out of here and pull it out or something like that, because if you do, it becomes a loop, and that's a whole other character. So you have to stop and then connect off of the outside of the G, kind of like with the vowels. So, because we can put something inside, we could easily put an E inside of here. And it's easily drawn by adding it onto the end of the curve like so, or you can loop the other way and go, oh, sorry, yes, this is the way we didn't go, like so. Okay, so now we can put that all together, and we can actually draw the entire word without lifting our pen, as you see, M, A, G, E, mage. Now, there's some other ways we can we can come at this word, too. You don't have to try to draw it as simply as, as I've done there, but that is beautiful in my mind because it's so cursive and easy. But you could go something like M-A... Um, you could put the G like so if you liked even, and then put the E over here. That looks kind of neat. Um, you can separate them again. You can go M-A. You can have that bend there. I don't like it. It doesn't look very nice in my mind. But if you do it nice, and in certain circumstances, it can give you more options. And then you could even connect the G off like so if you wanted, and then put the E there or there. Or There's a ton of options. Or you can just go connect it out like so. Play with it and have some fun. See what you like. But my favorite is the simple mage.